Hello guys and uh, welcome to my new screencast video. Today we will see how to create uh, an event from Google Sheets or Excel. Now head over to Google Calendar and we will create new tutorial calendar for this screencast. Let's have a tutorial. Alright, so our tutorial calendar has been created. Now we will configure some defaults. Uh, I want to be notified uh, 10 minutes before the normal event and a day before the all day event. So this looks fine. Now let me go to Google Sheets. This can be Excel as well. Uh, but the location, I mean the position of this particular column has to be like this only. So the subjects will be your uh, title, start date, start time. Uh, all day event doesn't need start time or end time. Your description, the location and privacy setting of the particular event. So we'll add some events. That's fine. Let's create seven events. Start date. Uh, keep in mind that th this particular date is in uh, MMDDYY format. So 4 10 2020. Okay, that's fine. Start time is 11 a.m. Okay, and and that is the same respectively. So we'll go ahead and copy this. And each event is of one hour only. Now, this all the event column text boolean. So it can be either true or false. So as it has a start time and end time, it's not all the events. So we'll go ahead and write false. Alright, that's fine. And uh, we'll copy this for subject. Now we'll enter location. Uh, this will this will get shown in the Google Calendar. Uh, sorry, Google Maps. Right, this looks fine. And is it private? I'll say no. So this column also takes boolean value. Now we'll create one old event. Keep in mind that this is a MMDTYYY format. You get the idea. As all the events does not have start date or end date, we'll skip them. And 2020. 20. That's fine. Uh, as this is a all day event, uh, we'll write true for the particular event. And we'll write all day event for the description. Venue is same and privacy is true. All right. So we do. Uh, we have created uh, eight events right here. Now what we'll do? We'll export this uh, particular spreadsheet in CSV format. Uh, do the same with uh, Excel if you are doing it in Excel. Okay. So now that we have uh, exported our file as CSV will uh, import and import it in the calendar so select file from your computer there we go and don't forget to change the calendar from whatever calendar you're on to the calendar you already uh, you recently made so in this case it's tutorial and we'll hit uh, import so as you can see eight out of eight uh, events has been imported so it's all good. We'll hit on OK. And let me hide all these events. So, as you can see, the event which we have created has been generated. So, let's take this particular event. Hmm. 
so the title comes from the subject uh, the first column the start date is uh, for subject 5 is 4th of April so 4th of April is correct start time is uh, 2 p.m. and end time is 3 p.m. the same day so yeah, it's all good uh, is it all the event uh, no it is not all the event and if you remember we have uh, created default notification settings 10 minutes before for the normal event and a day before for all the event so it is normal events so 10 minutes before the event uh, the description comes from here so subject 5 is correct description of this and the location location comes from here right so if we click on the location it takes us to Google Maps so it's pretty neat feature I would say so yeah I mean that's uh, pretty much and yeah one thing so this is all the event it runs from 17 to 19 so 17 to 20 but uh, it ends on 20 right so it's om omits 20 so it's technically correct one so it runs three days and yeah uh, the description should be all the event uh, description is all day event and notification is uh, a day before so this is how it works uh, so yeah if you have enjoyed uh, watching this tutorial give uh, thumbs up or whatever that there is subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos thank you so much